Hey y'all and welcome back to the party. It's your girl Britt Reacts and today we are reacting to Radiohead Creep. Let's see what they have to say. Alright. Okay, let's go. My, uh, my next guests have taken self-loathing and raised it to an art form. We offered them several images to play in front of and they chose really slow cars. So please welcome our very first musical guests, and I really like these guys, Radiohead. Just a question, how many talk shows has Conan O'Brien had? He looks so young right there, that's insane. I guess I just didn't realize like how long his career has spanned because you know I frequently watch a lot of comedians interviews on his show that was on TBS, and that feels way more recent. I don't know if it's still airing, but feels way more recent than this. Um, I've heard this song covered, I think, maybe twice now on this channel. It's my first time ever hearing the song, I want to say. And uh, I feel like it's been twice. I can't, I don't know. It doesn't matter. But I never realized that, that in the beginning of the song, it sounds like he's talking about someone he likes or he loves or he's attracted to. Um, which is just something I don't think I ever realized. I don't know. I think I was always so fixated on the chorus. Um, the melody of this song feels so important. And I don't know how to explain that other than just to say that, right? Like sometimes you can hear a song and just the melody and you're like, oh, this this sounds like I like listen up. It just feels like an important melody to me. I don't know. Um, okay, let's keep going. Skin makes me cry. Skin makes me cry. You float like a feather. A beautiful world. I wish I was special. You're so very special. Woo! Woo! But I'm a creep. I wish I were special. You're so very special. That um, that they're doing is such a, I don't know. It just shocked me. It was surprising, but it's such a cool like addition. I don't know if they wrote this song to be a self-loathing anthem or if they knew it would turn into this like revolution for all people who identify as other or different you know what I mean I feel like nowadays because I feel like the times I've heard it covered it's been more recently and it feels like it's more of like a stance now it's like I'm a creep I'm a weirdo you know what I mean it's like we all band together because honestly we're all weirdos like no one is not weird like just to be clear I don't care what anyone has to say we all have a thing that makes us weird and uh, I feel like that this song has become like a declaration for some people and I don't I don't know when it was originally wrote, written was it written for that intention or was it really them saying like no I'm a creep and I'm a weirdo and you're so special kind of thing I don't know which which way it was written the intention behind it but um, I love now that in the times that we're in where people feel more uh you know, just more acceptance, I guess. That I feel like this song has become almost an anthem for that. So, kudos to them. Oh my goodness. Oh, I have control. 
I mean, the way he's performing it is definitely giving off the weirdo creep vibes for sure. Um, I think the choices they're making musically, and I don't know if this is just a live arrangement where they're doing the dun 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 dun, and he's kind of like twitching. And then at the end of the last verse, the music got so loud it kind of like drowned him out. I don't know if that is how the studio version is but it feels like the performance is meant to make you feel uncomfortable. And uh, I wonder again, did they intend for that to make people tap into their weird size or were they meant to make pe everyone feel uncomfortable? I'm not sure. That's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Has like real vocals you know I think sometimes with like rock bands or you know any any kind of alternative music or anything like that like the vocals tend to be um, I don't know you don't I don't think all a, a lot of times at least in my experience here on this channel being introduced to different genres of music the artists don't always fully extend and express and show us their full vocal range I think a lot of times the songs just don't call for it. The songs can be more emotional or, you know, more music heavy. And so they don't, it's not requiring them to do a full belt or hold a note for 30 seconds. But I also feel like there are times where they like remind us like, oh no, I'm the lead singer for a reason. Oh no, we're here for a reason. And that was just one of those moments. It's like, oh shoot, he can really sing. And especially in a song like this where I feel like he's, over exaggerating the the concept of the song I'm a weirdo you know he's kind of like really falling into that he wasn't really showing his vocal ability until now <laughs> Very special. I wish I was special. Oh, the whisper. But I'm a cool. I'm a little. What the Radiohead. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't, I definitely think that song was authentic to them. Uh, I think they definitely might feel like the outcasts or the weirdos, but my, my takeaway 
is a question. It's not a statement. I wonder, do they know this song would take on the life that it did in the way that it represents like a voice for so many people who feel like they're on the outside. Um, I've only learned that through watching the covers like, oh, this song means a lot to a lot of people and I had never heard it before. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think the like just now when Conan walked out to say thank you, the lead singer seemed quite shy and introverted and all of those things can translate to weird for people who don't feel shy and introverted. Um, I don't necessarily make things that makes you a weirdo, but society can make you feel that way. And I just think that it's such a, you know, I just, I really enjoy that song and I've, I've enjoyed the other renditions, but this seeing them, the actual creators of the song and seeing them perform it live, put, put a new perspective in my mind. And now I have like more questions and I just would love to hear your thoughts. Or if you know the story behind the writing of the song or whatever, feel free to share it in the comments and uh, let's just all remember we're all weirdos and be kind. Be kind to one another, all right? Go and have the day you deserve. Peace.